Hi folks, Will at LL Workshop. So, after my Saudi bath video last year about the Land Rover HD chassis, I've actually found one in the flesh that's completely dismantled. I'm just going to have a go over it and um, see what we can see in a bit more detail. This one's upside down. It is a Saudi bath, not a Saudi BMF, unfortunately. If you recall from that other video, there's only 12 of those ever made and one of them was actually here. And I thought it might have been here, but no, it's gone, scrapped completely. But this is one of its cousins. This one was built only 500 uh, vehicles away from uh, the one that was the Selby BMF I was talking about. I'm just been having a poke around to see what the differences are. So there's one under here that's a standard chassis. This one's heavy duty, 2004 built. So um, up the front here, it looks like it could be an extra plate welded on, but I think that's standard for all vehicles. The uh, spring seat, no difference on the front. This is where we start getting the plate welded on the bottom. And to note that the the anti-roll bar at the front but, um, welded on afterwards. There's a bit of a plate there. And then the plate along the top starts here, runs along to the edge there and then up here as well runs all the way along the top of the chassis and over there all the way into here and I can't feel it stop there actually And then, so I don't know if it goes under, that. no it won't because this is hollow in here, so it will stop at some point in there. All the way along the top here, along the top here, all the way through to about here. And then for the back, it comes from about there, starts there, stops for the anti-roll bar, comes along here, stops there. Starts again here, all the way along. It looks like it's put afterwards because there's a weld along there to this bracket. Starts here. It's welded both sides, all the way along. That's just a, uh, like a tank guard. Bit of a cutout along here for some reason. In terms of holes, is that plug welded? That might be plug welded. That's a hole that presumably goes through into the chassis. There's another one there. But it doesn't seem like there's as many holes as you would normally get on a normal chassis. But anyway, stops here. Good uh, wood trap that. Welded along here. So these are definitely put on afterwards. And then along here and down. Around the outrigger. I wouldn't say there's a difference. No extra plating on here. See the year of manufacture there. This is on the uh, left hand side chassis leg. You'll see it in the footwell 04 for 2004. Um, the strength and embrace is standard on all vehicles this age. Nothing more around here. On the lower link bracket at the back, this I think is a, a, an addition in here. I think Wolves have the same. No other changes I can see on there. This is different on a Wolf. Uh, and then, the, yeah, there was these tabs on the spring seat and on the back, but there's no other difference, I don't think. The A-frame cross member looks uh, identical. It does look completely the same, as is the fuel tank cross member. Brackets for the transfer box. Same gearbox box number. This one's been replaced, I think, with a different era. Yeah, no other changes I can see. On the rear cross member, I think there's no difference here either. Rear tub supports are the same. Cross member looks the same. 
it's a bit it was a bit battered, it's had a plate welded onto it after afterwards I presume. And the crossman was pretty much the same. Well would you look at the state of these chassis, that is actual real factory paintwork on there. 18 years and they still got factory paintwork, can you believe it? So that was a 2004 HD chassis from a Land Rover 110 Defender. Now we've seen it a bit more up close at some of the details. Don't know if they continue this with the Puma, but there we go. Hope you found that slightly interesting, as is the way my nerdy passions and uh, video making. Give us a thumbs up if you're a nerd as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.